Magic the Gathering is a card game that has some fantastic settings and really compelling characters. But if you're new to the story, it can be hard to connect all those dots. Welcome to Magic Arcanum, I'm Ryan Gomez, here to help you make sense of everything going on in the Magic story. Today, we're looking at the Chronicle of Bolas, the Twins. It's the first episode in an eight-part saga leading up to the core set coming out later this summer, 2019. The story begins by introducing us to a pair of twin sisters, Naiva and Baisha. And man, I have no idea if that's right, because these are entirely new characters. We've never seen them before, ever. I don't really know what they look like, so let's pretend this is one of them. And there's actually two of them and they're twins, so good enough. Okay, so the two are trying to make their way quietly to this Calcisma Mountain. And that gives us our setting, because we've heard that name before. We're on a plane called Tarkir. So presently, Tarkir is controlled by a group of dragons, but that wasn't always the case. You see, Tarkir is kind of unique in magic because it experienced some time travel stuff that really changed the whole fate of the plane. Long ago, the dragons were plentiful on Tarkir thanks to these storms that just birthed dragons. These storms were called, surprise, dragon tempests. But one day, the storms all just stopped and humans were able to overtake and eliminate all the remaining dragons until there were none left. Well, this uh, planeswalker named Sarkhan did not like that one bit, so he went back in time to find out what had caused the Dragon Tempest to stop and undo that. He learned that the Dragon Tempest were coming from another planeswalker, Ugin the Spirit Dragon. And Ugin had just gotten into a fight with yet another dragon, this one called Nikol Bolas. So in the original Tarkir timeline, Ugin and Bolas have a big fight, Bolas wins and kills Ugin, and that stops the Dragon Tempest. But with Sarkhan there, he's able to influence the outcome ever so slightly. He keeps Ugin alive in a protective cocoon, and that allows the Dragon Tempest to continue. Therefore, present day Tarkir is ruled by the dragons. All right, so back to our story. The twins are about to be buried by an avalanche when one of them uses magic to create a protective barrier. And that's kind of a big deal because under the rule of the dragons, that type of magic is forbidden. After digging their way out of the snow, the girls encounter a pair of wind folk. These are a type of elemental that live up in the mountains of Tarkir. They're very rarely seen. In fact, I couldn't find any art of what they look like. So here's my best guess. Anyway, the girls get this message and then the windfolk vanish. So the girls start making their way back home to deliver this message to their grandmother, who we learn is Yasova Dragonclaw. Now that's a name that we've heard before. She's the leader of the Teemer tribe on Tarkir, although her position has been outlawed by the dragons, so she's been living in secret for quite a while. So the girls and their grandma share in this windfolk vision and it's a doozy. We see the birth of dragons, coming from the Ur-Dragon. He's kind of like the father of all dragons, and his wings create these storms that just make dragons. That should sound really familiar. So the vision makes it clear that this is not happening on Tarkir. The Windfolk don't have a name for where it's happening. Spoiler, it's Dominaria. But what does get named are the dragons that are being birthed in these storms. The first one's falling through the sky, opens up his wings, and declares himself to be Arcades Sabbath. That is one of the original Elder Dragons from a long time ago. Other dragons start coming to life. We get to see Chromium, Palladium Moors. One of them falls into a volcano and is pretty chill about it. So I think that one is Vevictus Ismati. And falling together in a tangle, we get two more, Ugin and Nicol Bolas. This is a big reveal. For anyone who's been following Magic for a number of years, we've known Nicol Bolas as a player. He does a lot of stuff. And we knew he had that big fight with Ugin back on Tarkir years and years ago, but we never knew they were twins. I could fill a lot of videos describing all the stuff Nicol Bolas has done, but I'll try and keep this one brief. He's currently the biggest threat to the entire multiverse, and almost all of our hero characters are uniting together to stop him from unleashing an undead army of warriors onto the unsuspecting plain of Ravnica, which is where the set this fall will come from. So seeing Nicol Bolas as a baby dragon is meaningful. We get to see his first experience in the world, and it is one of frustration, of helplessness, of anger, as he sees these lesser beings hunt down and kill one of his dragon siblings. He's captivated by how this group of individuals are able to work together and do something that no single one of them could accomplish on their own. Now, I'm going to speculate that this is going to be a recurring theme for Nicol Bolas and probably part of his downfall. 
All of his enemies, the good guys, the gate watch as they're called, outnumber him considerably, but in their last face-off, Nicol Bolas beat them all head-on quite easily. He's made it his life quest to become powerful enough that he doesn't have to depend on anyone else to do things for him. That could be his downfall. So Bolas wants to get revenge on these hunters for hurting his siblings. Ugin tries to talk him out of it, and we have the beginnings of their conflict, which is going to be far-reaching. The story ends with Ugin saying, Someone is looking for you, Yasova Dragonclaw. Come to me. That is an impressive trick for a dragon who everybody thinks is dead. But Yasova takes it pretty well, decides to pack up everything, and head to his last known location at his tomb on Tarkir. And that's the story. It's all leading up to Corset 2019 coming out later this summer, which isn't tied to any one specific plane, so the story could go almost anywhere. Where do you think it's going to go next? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next episode. That's it for today, though. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.